All this month, get up to $50 off any Android smartphone from Appalachian Wireless. Any Android you desire. All $50 off with two-year agreement. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. 37-year-old Tommy Lee Travis Engel of Kentucky 194 East in Pike County has run afoul of law enforcement again, this time for allegedly soliciting people to kill a former prosecutor, now a judge, in Virginia. Engel was convicted last year in a 2014 case out of Virginia. Engel, who at the time was considered homicidal and suicidal, abducted his then three-year-old son, prompting a nationwide Amber Alert. Engel eventually turned himself in to police in Pike County and was arrested. The child was unharmed. Engel received a two-year suspended sentence with the condition that he received psychological treatment for disorders allegedly resulting from his military service. Earlier this year, Engel was indicted after allegedly setting fire to a business at Zebulon, burning the business and several vehicles parked within, and he's been lodged in the Pike County Detention Center since June. It was at the Pike Detention Center that Engel's latest alleged crime resulting in the new indictment occurred. And while there, he developed a plan to try to get some people to injure or possibly kill the person that was the prosecutor in his case in Virginia. The Kentucky State Police has intercepted communications in which the plot to injure or kill this, uh, this uh, now judge uh, was outlined. According to the indictment, that prosecutor turned judge is Judge Marcus Brinks. Pike Commonwealth's attorney Rick Bartley said Brinks, a former military veteran himself, helped Engel get a favorable disposition in his case because he was sympathetic to Engel's alleged psychological trouble from his military service. He actually got a very favorable disposition of having the charges reduced to a misdemeanor, partly because this judge, who was then the prosecutor, was very sympathetic to his claims that as a veteran, uh, he had suffered some type of emotional problems because of his experiences in the military. Uh, and yet, the prosecutor that tried to help him now finds himself on the receiving end of some very serious threats. Engel remains lodged in the Pike County Detention Center and is now charged with retaliating against a participant in a legal process, a Class D felony charge punishable by up to five years in prison. In his previous arson indictment, Engel could face life in prison. In Pikeville, Chris Anderson, EKB News.